game of the season. What a game. Was not expecting that. Ama Diallo, I couldn't be any happier for the lad. Incredible cameo today. Came off the bench, was brilliant, not just in his play and his tidiness, his linking up, but his work rate. There was a time just before the third goal when we made it 3 3, where he was tracking back, chasing Nunes, winning back the ball that played a part in us, scoring that equaliser to make it 3 3. He pushes Elliot, he presses Elliot from a corner, he wins back the ball, lays it onto Garnacho, makes a fantastic fantastic run and let's not say anything bad because that was an unbelievable finish from Amadiallo and a lot of players do not finish that away absolutely brilliant I can't believe the ref sent him off what a knob what the referee was the biggest negative of the game today because I cannot say one bad word we've beaten Liverpool 4-3 at home we completely turned it around the effort in extra time from Manchester United was incredible I want to talk about Garnacho and Amadiallo in particular but Bruno Fernandes was playing centre-back for the last 30 minutes of that game with a knock. Anthony is playing left-back. Anthony is not a left-back. Anthony comes on, I'm thinking he's bringing on Anthony and we want a goal. What's Ten Hag doing? I got it wrong. I will apologise to Eric Ten Hag. You got it absolutely right. Anthony comes on, was brilliant at right wing, got a goal, almost got another goal, played brilliant at left-back, Anthony. Uh, Garnacho was sprinting back and forth for 125 minutes straight. You don't understand. Like when you're running and you're jogging, it's half for 90 minutes. But when you were sprinting as much as Garnacho does, running with the intensive Garnacho, this guy's legs are going to fall off. Garnacho was incredible, incredible assist, his all round play. Every time Garnacho got the ball, it felt like something was going to happen. He was absolutely amazing. I thought Diogo Delo was class all match. I thought. Maguire had an absolutely fantastic cameo as well. Maguire was brilliant. Anthony was brilliant. Ahmad was brilliant. When they came on, the subs were brilliant. Andre and Anna made some great saves. And I have to praise United because we started really well for 35 minutes. Then the mentality dropped and we'd thrown it all away. It felt like we'd thrown away this brilliant 2-1-0 lead that we deserved that 1-0 lead the first 35 minutes. In the last five minutes of the first, I felt like we'd thrown it away. We came out, looked all right at the first five minutes of the second half, and then all of a sudden we dropped off. The intensity levels went. United looked sluggish, and it, Liverpool were two on up, and then they were getting these five on twos, uh, four on twos. And Liverpool had opportunities to make it three one and put the game to bed, and they didn't. Liverpool were not at their best. They were sluggish, and all of a sudden, out of like nowhere, because it felt like no nothing was going to happen from the 60th minute onwards. It just felt like nothing was going to happen. But then about the 85th minute, Man United woke up. Anthony scored, it was 2-2, and United were pushing for that equaliser. United had three defenders on. They were playing, I don't even know what formation. It was like Lindelof, Maguire, Dalo, Bruno was playing DM. They didn't know what formation they were doing. They then took off another defender. Bruno's playing centre-back for extra time. Anthony's playing left-back. There's no sort of formation or anything we know what's going on. There's loads of players have been thrown on. Ahmad Diallo, Mason Mount, all of them. And Ahmad Diallo comes on. And wow, wow, wow. I mean, I was not expecting that, but the passion, the energy, the desire shown from the players in extra time, that's what I want to see from United. Beating Liverpool in that manner, game of the season. They played for the shirts. They gave 100% for the club. And I love that. And when Liverpool scored and they made it 3-2, and my watch wrong said, I'm not going to rant because the game's not over. And I feel like these players have got something in them. I had a feeling they had something in them. I actually thought the performance was decent, but I want to praise Garnacho. I really want to praise Garnacho. That was an absolutely fearless performance from Garnacho. He gave 100%. 100%. He ran. He gave it his all. He was trying and just trying. And every time he got the ball, he did not care. He ran at Liverpool. He took on players. Every time Garnacho got the ball, the ball went forward. Garnacho attacked. Garnacho was brilliant. The way his desire to run at players. I, I thought he was incredible. Sprinting, the pass, doing everything for the goal. He really cares about the club. He really gives it 100%. I just... Um, I just want to give a round of applause to Garnacho. We've got Coventry City in the semi-final at Wembley, guys. So for a second year running, unless things go wrong, it looks like Manchester United are going to the FA Cup final unless we lose to Coventry. But you know what? Bruno Fernandes, we're going to talk, we're going to talk about Ahmed again, but Bruno Fernandes, man, this guy's playing injured. This, this, Bruno Fernandes this season has played centre forward. He's played striker. He's played right wing. He's played left wing. He's played attack in midfield. He's played box to box. He's played centre-back. He's played centre-mid. He's played left-back at points this season. He's played DM. Bruno Fernandes has played every single position this season bar goalkeeper and right-back. 
Yes, he weren't at his best today. Yes, he could have done better for the second goal. But the way that he gives everything, there was a moment in the game where it was just Bruno pressing all 11 players and the rest of the Man United players standing like statues, not knowing what to do. And this was in the second half when I thought this game is dire. We're not turning this around. And Tenog's bringing on Ericsson and, and Anthony. And I thought, what is Tenog doing? And Tenog was completely right. And I was completely wrong. And I'm glad I'm completely wrong. I'm glad we won. But Bruno running around with a knock, playing every single position. He, I think Bruno Fernandes is way too overhated. I think he's way too overhated. He gives everything he plays injured. He was running around. He, for me, he's a captain. And people would disagree with me that. But I love Bruno Fernandes. I think he's fantastic. But let's talk about Amad Diallo's performance. I mean, this is the statement. Unfortunately, he's going to miss our next game versus Brentford. But this is a statement performance from Amad Diallo. What a finish. What a winner. What a boy. 19 touches, 10 out of 10 passes, 3 out of 3 tackles, 5 out of 8 jewels, won 1 goal, 1 red card. What a performance from Ahmad. He did not lose the ball, but the amount of times he trapped back and won back the ball, every time he got the ball, he kept it. He added that control. He added that element of control. He was fantastic. He had the ball. He had one pass. He had one shot. Do you know what? That was a very difficult angle to finish from. And he bish bashed boshed it in the back of the net. I'm really, really happy by that Ahmed Diallo performance. I'm really, really happy. I'm happy with Ten Hag. I thought his subs were crazy, uh, but I, it worked. And look, we've got Manchester City fans out there saying, Garnacho is, is fella. We have to talk about the kid. Special player. I know Ahmed scored the winner. I know I've been banging on about Garnacho all game. But the work rate, the work rate, everything, the way he gives 100%, he didn't stop all game. Garnacho and Ahmed got it over the line for us. Garnacho and Ahmed got us over the line for us. His fearlessness, the way he gives it, I just, everybody hit the like button for Garnacho, for Garnacho, man. He was absolutely incredible. He was my man of the match today. And honestly, I feel like I want to cry. And it's going to be a wet white palace. It's just an FA Cup game. I actually am I'm so happy. I felt really disconnected from Man United, even at points in that game, in that second half. Felt really disconnected. I felt, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we trying to do? And, I st- and we might feel like that next game. But it just that moment to just to see the players really give a crap, to give 100% an extra time, to really come out. And it's not even like it's a lucky win. There's moments of the game where we weren't good, but it's not even like it's a lucky win. You look at this here 3.28 XG to their 2.07, 1.6, you know, higher XG today. We had the higher attacking options. It, I just feel so happy that we saw the players come out and give 100%. The players cared because we had the ref against us today. We completely and utterly had the referee against us today, but the players did not stop. They did not stop. They did not give up. They did everything. And now we've got Coventry. And I think that is the final for us. And I could talk and I could talk and I could talk and I will do an analysis-based video. I could go on and I could go on and I could go on. But let's go through the players. Let's do a little bit of player ratings to end off this match reaction. Andre and Arna, 8 out of 10, some fantastic saves. Couldn't do much about the goal. They were deflections. Diego Delo. How about I spoke about Diego Delo? Diego Delo could be man of the match, man. Diego Delo was a 9 out of 10. Diego Delo was fantastic. The guy did not give up. The guy did not stop working. The guy was absolutely brilliant today. He's so evolved as a player, Diego Delo. Um, Diogo Delo, Diego Delo. Uh, Rafa Varan, fantastic box defender, didn't put a foot wrong. Lindelof didn't put a foot wrong today, to be honest. Uh, Maguire, when he came on, was absolutely immense. Wan Bissaka put in a shift at left back. Uh, but he's a bit of a liability on the ball sometimes, Wan Bissaka in build up. But defensively, he dealt with Salah so well, particularly in that first half, put in an absolute shift at left back. Uh, McTominay had a really good game, goal and assist. He ghosts at times, but he was crucial to those goals, and I will not fault him for that. Eriksson had a really good cameo, to be fair. Uh, he should have done better for the Harvey Elliott goal, but other than that, I thought he had a good cameo. He just needs to close down players, but he just doesn't have that mobility in him. Bruno Fernandes, everywhere, 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 put in a shift. Um, Mason Mount didn't really notice him, to be honest, but fair play to Mason Mount. I'm just happy to see you get on the pitch. And Ama Diallo came in, started in central areas, really solid shift as a 10, then went out wide. Bosh, everywhere, tracking back. Mr. I want to do everything. Garnacho, phenomenal. Rashford, people say he missed two sitters. They were both offside. Wouldn't have counted. The one time he was onside, he put it in the back of the net. Marcus Rashford loves a goal against Liverpool. Let's get in Marcus Rashford. Boylan was fine. You know, didn't have much to do. Game was a bit dead when he was playing. Ten hog. Ten hog. Ten out of ten. Ten hog. Because you know what? That game was done. That game was in the gutter. That game was in the mud. I thought there's no chance. I thought, what are we doing? I was, I was lost. I was lost. Puts all these subs on. He's putting Anthony on. He's putting Ericsson on. Bruno Fernandes at centre-back. Anthony at left-back. What, 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 what? Bosh. Anyway, 
Maybe I'll be. Maybe I'll go live 10 p.m. Maybe I'll go live 10 p.m. I just feel. I feel good. I've not. This is the happiest I've felt all season, and I can go in and be happy because it's international break. I won't have to see us play for two weeks. Thank you. 